have now Sawyer going against Fodder. Well, you know, Caribbean Tiger, this was originally supposed to be Fodder, who we were known as Alpha Ace, against Vinny Pacifico from Ring Wars Carolina, but he got hurt this past week as he made an appearance on WWE NXT, and he is unable to be here tonight. So he sent in a young comer by the name of Oliver Sawyer, who is gonna take on Fodder in his RWC debut. Well, don't get a twist, Sawyer actually trains with Firestar Pro Wrestling under LeBron Cazone, and let me tell you, man, uh, Firestar Pro Wrestling also comes out with great wrestlers. I mean, you're thinking about, you got TJ Moss, you got Kaden Pierre, you have amazing people that comes out of there just, so even though he's only been in doing for a year and a half, I think he may have potential. Now here comes the guy that we've all known as Alpha Ace. He has now changed his name to Fodder. Ever since he won the Candy Bowl, ever since he has starred in the narrative with EC3, I have seen a major change in this man. And I'll be honest, Tiger, I don't like it. Nobody likes it, but he, he the way he's seeing, he's riding his own narrative. He's doing everything that he got to do in his power to get to the top. And he's doing exactly that. Now there you go. You see him now, now working with EC3. You see him doing amazing things in on television, fighting like Lodi, fighting Ricky Morton. This guy is doing everything that he got to do to be at the top. He has the physique. He has the look. He has the character. So he's just finding himself, and I think from Alpha Ace, you understand he's more of a fodder than Alpha Ace. Yeah, but do you have to change your attitude? Do you have to start acting like a jerk towards people to preach your point across? Maybe, maybe a lot of fame. A lot of fame too quick. Sometimes he goes that, he does that. Unfortunately he does that, because you're, look at that, pulling the hair. There's no need for that. A lot of fame too quick sometimes does that to you, man. He just goes up to your head and you take it over. But, but then again, for him, it's working. But look at the demeanor. Look at the facial expressions on his face. I mean, he's even got new look. He's even wearing black jeans now. He's not even wearing his professional gear that he's been wearing for the past couple of months. You got to do what you got to do to change yourself, to believe in who you are. And he is believed, truly have believed that he's fodder now. His wrestling skill's still there. His moves are still, ah. Oh. You know, I've, I've, I've teamed with this man, Tiger. I, I've been on the road with this man. And like I said, recently, lately, I, I can't get him to answer his phone. I can't get him on any kind of social media. I see him in the back here. His locker room, stay, his door stays shut. He has a, a personal security guard outside his door. I mean, the man has changed. I mean, th th this whole writing your own narrative has really changed the man we once known as Alpha Ace, but we now know as Fodder. Because it's all about himself now. He is, you know, I, once you got to understand that I was in a, I was in a run myself and I did not care about anybody. But someday, sometime, one person will come and humble you down. Some person will come and tell you that you're not as big as you are. And they will make you change. But for now, nobody has been able to do that to this guy fodder. So therefore, how, why will he change? He's not going to get until somebody humbles him. Drop down there by Oliver Sawyer and Fodder. And Oliver Sawyer, nice headlock takeover. Not takeover, but, well, yes, now a headlock takeover. Looks like knee. Sawyer's moving very good, very nice for a year and a half. This guy has a lot of great techniques, movement, timing. It's showing they are training some good guys over there down to Five Star. Now, let me ask you a question, Tiger. We know Fodder. He is the number one challenger for the RWC Heavyweight Championship winning the 2021 Candy Bowl. What happens if this young upstart, Oliver Sawyer, Sawyer, would defeat him right here tonight on his own on his own home turf? You know how much credibility the will he lose. Then again, it could be exactly what he needs. Maybe he needs to be humble. Maybe he needs somebody who's only been in the business for a year and a half, just like he has, and humble him down. And let him know, you know, it's not your time right now. Maybe he wants to rethink. Oh. But then again, with the arrogance and the way that he thinks, man, oh. he, might be thinks, he, he might still think that he deserves a chance. But there's a championship committee. Do they, do they take away his championship his, his championship win to give it to Oliver Sawyer? I think he just, oh. hmm. I 
think he won fair and square, and that's like money in the bank. Just because you win, you win it doesn't mean that you gotta give it away. So he, Oliver Soya now down here, looks like Fodder's taking over. Is this weird calling him Fodder now? It is extremely weird. It's really hard, he's just, he just, just saying it sounds rougher, just saying it sounds tougher. I cannot stand the attitude that he has right now, the way that he moves, wrestles left and right, just thinking that he's just better than anybody else, and it irritates me. He irritates a lot of, a lot of people out here. You can tell. Look, at look at this, look at this. He just nonstop cheating every single time. Trying to get to five, trying to get disqualified right away. Does this guy really care? Oh, sh what a shot to the gut by mm. Fodder to Oliver Soy. Oh, oh man. huge elbow in the face. Now he's telling you the ref what to do. And Oliver Soy hit. No, oh, man, snapping the neck. That could really do some damage right there. He's taking a sweet time to attack the opponent. He is praying him down. Well, you know, Tiger, I saw you trying to talk to Fodder earlier. I mean, did you even get anything out of him? Did you get to, did you get to talk to him or? He's too much into himself at this point that he really doesn't care about anybody else. Even though I was one of the guys that helped him train, now he looks at everybody like he's above every single person. Kick out there by Oliver. No, but going right back to the cover there. Another kick out. He's going for the cover again. No, he can't. When you keep doing this over and over again, that gets that wears you out. Trying to kick out of somebody, putting the whole pressure on you, he wears you out. So it's a good technique to try to keep him down to go for a three. But Sawyer has great, great charisma. He's he's trying to get the crowd, but the crowd is not getting there. It is too much beating going on. Look at this, fodder there now. There we go. What a nice, nice chin lock there. You got some fans, you got some fans behind Sawyer. Here we go. Maybe this is time. And Sawyer, oh, nice shot to the gut there. Oh, Ooh, another, another huge shot. Up. And Sawyer off the road. Big drop down there by Fodder. Oh, what a shot to the gut. Slow him down in. Oh, come no, on. Come on, referee. You got to get onto that. <coughs> Can't be pulling people's hair like that. You cannot be pulling people's hair like that. I do not understand it. Now he's mocking him. Instead of taking him down and going for that pain, he's just mocking him down. But you got to give Sawyer credit. He's fighting back, Tiger. He's he not a quitter. He's not going to quit. He's not going to quit. He's going to continue to give and give. Do whatever it takes to get to the next level. I'm trying to get this win. Father now whipping him off to the opposite corner there. Oh, man. It's like a ping pong oh. right now. It's like a ping pong. Oh, gosh. Oh. Hard turnbuckle. And people don't understand, that hurt. That is a steel bolt under that turnbuckle pad. Yeah, that pad really doesn't cover much. Once you get hit into that, you can feel that steel right away. Big leg drop by Fodder. You know, Tiger, I'm asking you again, I asked you earlier, Fodder's got more experience than Sawyer. Is Fodder taking a little bit too much time here trying to put a young Oliver Sawyer away? I don't even know what he's trying to do at this point. I think he would have just tried to go for the finisher. If he actually would know exactly what he's doing, he would have go for the finisher. Just trying to pop at him around and throw him left and right for what? Guys already hurt. Guys already feeling pain. And that's exactly what happens when you take your time. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, Sawyer. He's fighting back here. Sawyer with another there shot to the face. And he's, there he there is. There we go. And the fans and are getting behind him. Yes, they fans are. are getting behind him. <laughs> getting behind the young upstart here. Whips Fodder off the road. Big clothesline there. there. Go. Fodder goes down. Big back elbow. And Oliver Sawyer here. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. Whips There's him up. Hook. Oh, oh. For Full Nelson. Full Nelson. Ah, he just fought so it. strong, man. He's strong for Whips that. Him off, up and over there. And Sawyer here. No. Oh, man. There we go. Here we go. The crowd gets behind Sawyer. He is on fire here, uh, Oliver Sawyer. Father took his time. He made a mistake. Took his time trying to pop him around, and he can cost them the match now. Kick to the gut. Is he going? Is he and going? here we go. Well, he says, oh, but oh, oh no. Shot to the. Oh, no. Another shot to the stomach there. And Father. No. Oh. Sawyer lands on his feet. Goes for a pump kick. Oliver Sawyer. So Father catches him, spins him around. He tried to go for Fodder a German. with a waist lock, oh. like a German, but a big back elbow there by Oliver Sawyer. Two big elbows right to that ear. 
Dropped down there by Fodder and Oliver Sawyer. And no, he gets out of it. And look at this. And Fodder, what's he going for here? Oh, look out. Oh, oh that's it. You can count to 100, boys and girls. It's over. Fodder just takes the win. He almost caused him the match to take his time. Taking his time almost caused him the match, and Sawyer Man does he have a heart. Doug, how can he move in the ring? He had everything that he that he takes, but Fodder was just stronger and more methodical than him. That was it yet. I'll tell you what, it's only a matter of time before we see some singles gold around the waist of Fodder. I'm telling you, this man is the 2021 Candy Bowl winner. He's got his sights on that Arden Fanboy Championship. But the question is, when is he going to cash in on it? And he has all year to do so. He has up until next year's Candy Bowl. So I think he, he, might, he might come in, come in handy. And that ladies and well, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do it here for this week's episode of Ring Wars Carolina Battleground. But join us here next week as the RWC Junior Heavyweight Champs will be on the line. That big eight-man tag team elimination match and the RWC Heavyweight Championship will be on the line as well. I'm James Anthony. This is Caribbean Tiger, and we'll see you all in another week.